Hi guys, it's Lynn and today I am really excited because I am part of an awesome collab and it is with the group Geeks and Beauties. Please, please check them out and please check out all the links below. I will link all of their collabs for you so that you can see all of our different takes on the same topic. Uh, the topic for the month is five spring essentials. Now my spring essentials are obviously going to be beauty related because I'm a little bit obsessed. So I decided to do five beauty essentials that will transition you from winter to spring. So if you want to see what I picked out, well, let's get started. So the first and most important thing that I think of during winter to spring transition is dry lips and that has not been helped by the huge matte lipstick trend that has just been going crazy lately so this year my lips are even drier than usual i think and so i've done a few things to combat that the first product i have here is a lip scrub and this one happens to be from skin it's a sugar scrub smells like sugar tastes like crap um i did get this from my ipsy it's a really really good option um again tastes like crap don't eat it um, you can do this in a DIY manner really, really easily. So if you'd like to see a video on that, do let me know and I will absolutely demonstrate how you can make some of this yourself without having to go out and buy it. This is the Lasting Smiles Lip Balm and it is also ironically from Ipsy. It uh, is a clear balm that smells like peppermint. It is probably my favorite lip balm going on right now, to be real honest with you. I just love it. I can't get enough of it. Even though it doesn't work, I have a mom trick for you, and that is lanolin. Believe it or not, a little bit of lanolin on the lips will clear them right up for those spring uh, light colors that really, really show dry patches and glosses and anything else you want to put on your lips. This will, this is kind of the catch-all. It really, really will get them back to moistened. <laughs> I know it's a weird trick, but I'm a mom, so I wanted to share that with all of you. Another thing that I think is really important, especially for us pale chicks, um, is bronzer. And I have actually on and off kind of been wearing bronzer all through the winter, which is totally fine. You should totally do it if you want to. Um, but just because I am super, super, super pale and I like to look like I've been outside and seen the light of day. So this is the bronzer that I have been wearing lately. It is from Physicians Formula. It is just their light to medium bronzer. See it. Yeah, you can see that. So it is just super light, but super pigmented, easy to blend out, and you just put it all over, you know, put it basically kind of over where you put your contour and around the, side, the edges of your face and just wherever you want a little bit of extra color so you don't look like a pale nerd like I am. <laughs> Spring is also such a good time to start really, I mean, I don't want to say like clown facing it but really doing the blush like the pinky peachy blushes and really just looking like you have a flush on your skin again fooling people into thinking you've been outside more often than you have so I have two options for you and both are from the drugstore I'm trying to keep this video as drugstore as I can just because these are general recommendations and they are not specific to product recommendations and I want to show you you can find good stuff anywhere so this I got from the dollar store this is the elf blush um cream blush in uh, headliner I believe headliner it is just a beautiful but very very pigmented be careful about this you only have to do a little bit on your hand and then you can pick it up with your brush and just put a very very light layer on <laughs> so that is what that looks like and I also have the Milani blush in tea rose and that is just a beautiful more mauvey pink color so those are some great blush ideas from the drugstore and I definitely think you can start being a little bit more pink and a little bit more flushed and a little bit more, I don't know, looking like you're starting to think about getting a tan. That's one of the things that I do love about spring. Another thing I love about spring is that all of the floral and citrusy and wonderful scents kind of come back into play, you know, whereas we've been like heavy vanilla, cinnamon, pumpkin, whatever through winter and fall, you can kind of get into the more springy, you know, warm, light scents, and I really like that. So I love Bath and Body Works, can you tell? But <laughs> um, so I have a few recommendations from them. 
We have been looking for a little, really floral um, lotion that is not too overpowering. We have Moonlight Path. This is one of my favorites. Country Chic, and this is more for those ladies who don't like it to smell really too sweet at all. So it is just a fresh, crisp scent, but it is not overly, like, it's not um, Perfect Autumn Day, if you guys know what I'm referencing, which is another scent of theirs, which is more geared towards fall. This is more spring summer to me anyway. I don't know. I also have beautiful day and this is like apples and flowers. I don't know. It is just a it's pretty strong, but it is just a nice, you know, really fruity, um, sweet smell. I just like this one a lot. So if you're not into heavy scents, probably not, but I've also really been into their tea and ginger body spray lately. So this actually kind of smells like I don't know, like grapefruit trees to me. Um, I I guess I can see what they're saying, tea and ginger, but this smells more fruity and like springy and blossomy to me. I don't know. So I, I, I don't think the name is quite right, but I like the smell. And number five, it would not be an essentials video on my channel if I didn't include something about nail polish. So nail polish, Pantone colors of the year, uh, pink and blue, basically, rose quartz and serenity. So, um, nail polish, we're probably going to see a lot of pink and blue, but, um, I definitely like the pastels or the maybe just not even flat out pastels, but just light and pretty colors. I mean, I'm wearing a uh, pink on my nails right now that I really enjoy and I haven't felt like doing that. And I think that I finally feel like it because it's spring again. So I'm going to show you guys some less expensive alternatives to the really, really like high-end nail polish. So we'll start kind of at the beginning here. So the first brand I want to recommend is Milani and you can find these at the dollar store a lot. Um, and obviously this is just a purple color. Um, I can give you guys color names and everything if you're interested, but um, pretty self-explanatory. Great brand is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. These really are across the board pretty good. Some are better than others as far as formula goes, but I really do like their opacity, I like the way they dry, and I like that they don't chip too bad. And moving up there in price, we have uh, Charming Charlies. If you if you have a Charming Charlies by you, you should go in and check it out. Not for nail polish necessarily, but just for accessories and stuff. It's really cute and it's really fun. And oh my gosh, can you spend a lot of money there without even knowing it. So I got this nail polish here and it is just this glittery blue-green and I love it. As far as just regular drugstore pricing, you can... You can get OPI and uh, SE for I believe seven to ten dollars a piece, and I just have a pink and a blue here that I really like a lot. Um, so those are some great places to get um, spring-themed nail polish for a little bit less money, so that you don't have to break the old bank there. Um, so I guess I should have called this um, five bargain essentials for transitioning from spring to. Are from winter to spring because that's how it ended up. Anyway, so those are my five spring essentials and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will take a moment to check out all my friends in the links below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.